First, test the unit with no game in it. You should get a blinking yellow screen. If the screen does not blink, flip the switch and try it again. Next, test with the game in your collection that works normally. If all works well, it should act as expected. Next, test with the game that doesn't work. It should blink every one second. And here's the moment of magic. Flip your switch and turn the unit back on with the locked out game. The game should function without the blinking red light. If all tests are passed, congratulations, you disable the lockout chip with the bypass switch. Okay, a few things I want to note here. Uh, some of you may be wondering about some of the parts I didn't use and wondering what they're for. Uh, one of the things I didn't use in the video was solder braid, and I'll explain what this is briefly. Uh, this stuff here, what you do with it is when you make a mistake um, soldering, what you do is you take and uh, you put this braid on your mistake where the solder is, you put the solder iron on it, and this sucks all the solder into the braid like a sponge, kind of erasing the mistake. I did use this once in my video, but I don't think I ever got a shot of it. Uh, the other thing that I told you to have that I didn't use in the video was this. And this is for troubleshooting. This is just in case the mod didn't work. This is to make sure all your connections are good. See, what you do is you turn it on. So, see it reads point one. You take and touch the leads together, which indicates that you know, the circuit's complete. Let me show how much resistance, which is zero. Uh, with this, you can troubleshoot if any of your solder joints are, are not connected correctly or if you've uh, cold jointed something so that you, know, you can't see uh, with the naked eye that it's bad, but this can by running electricity through it. A very small amount. And last but not least, if you don't feel like going through this, but you have games that, well, flip the switch, do this. Uh, then what I recommend you do is to open it up and instead of doing what all I did, that fourth pin you can just clip and put it back together. But I wanted to do this just in case if I ever ran into a game that required the lockout chip and wouldn't play. And plus it's kind of neat to show people what Nintendo did or is doing uh, in the past to make sure that these games don't play. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of a tinker gnome, and that's kind of what I do. Uh, now, some final thoughts. Okay, YouTubers, that's my mod. Uh, this was taken from another page, and I'll put the link in the sidebar where I got the information from. Uh, it was extremely helpful, and I was able to uh, do this mod because of the instructions that he's left behind. Now, I'm probably going to do a lot more mods and a lot more cleaning, but I'm going to need your help. Um, I only have so many systems and none of them are broken, and that's the problem. I'm looking for any YouTuber out there that happens to have any broken system that they'd like to see me repair. Now, you send them to me, I can't send them back, but I'll give it a shot on tape of me trying to fix it, and we'll see if we can't get it going and see if it'll help some other people out. And that's about it, YouTubers. Uh, if you have any suggestions also, please feel free to private message me, and I'll see you next video.